Uh oh, y'all, what's up? Here we go. Had something to do. Back in the second round. Oh. Yeah, I'm still going with Hill, man. <laughs> oh, wow. Look at this, man. He'll um, put them hands together. Oh, good knee. Good knees from uh, Angela Hill. Look at that knees to the body. Oh, she's tearing that body up, yo. Oh, good knees there. Why is she not fighting, yo? Twenty seconds left. Oh, this might be her first stoppage. Oh wow, she's tearing that body up. All right, end of the round. Dang, man. Mm. <laughs> Things that y'all pay. I started to. I was about to switch back. I was the same, but I said, you know what? I'm going to stick with Hill here. Oh, wow. Yeah, she's piecing her up, man. That's two in a row. This will be two in a row for Angela Hill. Hmm. Yeah, Angela Hill. She could get a stoppage here if she wanted to. All right, let's see, y'all. Hit that like. You already said her corner with her corner was shaking his head. One of one of her uh, cornermen. All right, let's see this last round, y'all. Emily to Cody coming after it. Nope. Back to it. Nice jab to the body from Hill. Oh, hard left hand there from Dakota. Good left hook to the body from Dakota. Ooh, nice jabs from Hill. That's what I was talking about. A jab gonna be a problem. Mm, nice right hand and jab there. Angela Hill becoming the teacher. Ooh, nice body shot from Hill. Yeah, the Cody landed some rights, but Angela Hill, she can take it, man. Ooh, nice left hook to the body from the Cody. Ooh, right hand from Hill. This is easier than the um, Lamos fight was, right? Ooh, she missed by a mile with that left hook. Ooh, hard calf kick there from Hill. Ooh, left hook by Dakota. Oh, nice left hook to the body there from uh, Dakota. Ooh, Angela Hill landing that right hand, boy. Jab to the upstairs. That left hook to the body is landing. Mm-hmm. Hill coming back with combinations. Oh, nice double jab there from Angela Hill, boy. Oh, 
Oh, nice right hand up top from Angela Hill, man. Ooh. Yeah, she can't even get it. She can't even get this fight to the ground. And I, I knew she wasn't really going to try. Oh, nice head kick there by Angela Hill. Body shots, combinations, knees, all at once. <laughs> oh, nice knee to the body. Nice elbow. Angela Hill, tie clinch. Panay must told her about that. She said, hey, get that tie clinch, work that body. Left hook from Angela Hill. Well, ooh, nice calf kick there from the Cody. And he'll making this look a little easier, man. Mm, nice left hook, right hand. Oh, wow. Mm. She just got that tie clinch, boy, moving her around. Look at them numbers 60. 60 strikes in the second round. Jeez. Mm, body shots. And still looking for a stoppage, boy. Boy, if Emily and Cody get stopped here, uh oh. Oh, wow. Look at these numbers, man. Oh, Angela Hill looked uncomfortable tonight. Angela Hill is on her chick anymore. She just popped. Ooh, flying knee. She just point fighting tonight, boy. Oh, she is tearing her up. Oh, hard, hard right hand. This is crazy, man. All right, 20 seconds left. Oh, oh, nice right left there, Angela Hill. Angela Hill with the body shots. More knees and elbows. Ooh. And Cody still can't get a takedown. That's it. Wow. Shoot. 3026. With them numbers, was that a 10 8 round? I don't know. Was that a 10 8 round the way she was punishing her? Mm. Wow. Wow. That was good. That was a good fight. Yeah, Laura says she he was a good fighter. Yes, I mean, she's turning it up. She's improving. It's time for these girls. To, that's what I'm saying, man. The, the bottom half of the straw weights, it's hard to say who's going to be next, man. It really is. The bottom half of the straw weights, it is way too, it's way too hard to say who's going to be next. Yeah, Bluebird, 30-26 somewhere in the scores. I think that was a 28 10-8 round. Mm. Yeah, this almost said Lupi did better. Shoot. This, yeah, yeah, she did for about one round. Now we gotta see Lupi and uh Dakota fight. <laughs> All right. Wow. Where they made a split decision, that would be messed up. <laughs> yeah, I, I thought the third round could have been 10 8, in my opinion. 
Uh, Gabriel said, do you think that Cody might get kicked out of the rankings or not? Um, she could. She could. I mean, it really wouldn't be like a shocker or a loss because she got she got schooled in there, man. She was getting schooled in there. Nah, I thought that was a 10-8, man. She was getting outlanded big time. She was getting spanked up, man. I was about to go back and pick her, too. I was like, you know what? Dakota might do something like knock her out, but nah. I guess that was a lot. Wow. So this, I feel bad for Emily. I was rooting for. Her. Yeah, you know, it would have been nice to have her win because, you know, we need some new new blood in the division. What? Just so you got to work. They got to go back and get to work in. I'm going to go back and look at that first round with y'all because I was late getting on. Hang on. Man, Angela Hill still out here doing it. Wait a minute, where are we at? Yeah, let me look back. Look, let me look back at this first round since we still here. If Dakota does get kicked out, who takes her spot? Um, let me see. It's really hard to say because a lot of these girls still aren't ready, in my opinion, you know. It really is. Bob Hola said he should have had a title shot years ago. I mean, should she have? I mean, just because she win a fight here and there, should she have really? Like, when when did she ever when did she ever earn a title shot? I don't believe that. I ain't gonna go too crazy. She won the night, but <laughs> she didn't. She hadn't even earned a title shot years ago. She she could have if she had beat Rose at the time, but uh, she lost that. Yeah, Yellow Lee, she's improved. Let me see here. Hold on. Yeah, 15 and, <clears throat> 15 and 12. Yeah, because Angel Hill never... Angela Hill never made it up to the point of being a title contender, you know? Well, Leah said Hill did not defeat Lamos. No. She didn't. Ugh. I think a lot of uh, decision. That's why they are not interviewing it. Yeah, uh, and there's a lot of fights on the card too. Yeah, real. They yeah, they got to keep it moving. You know, all them decisions. Yeah, if they had some knockouts, they probably could get some interviews in. Blue Earth said he'll start the MMA game later in life. It might be let her hit her peak finally. Yeah, that could be something because she did. Um, she did get in the UFC pretty premature. I mean, when she was in the tough house, she only had one fight. So she got a chance to learn early and grow. So, yeah. I mean, this might be the peak. This might be where she peaks, but still, yeah. 
I don't see her cutting. I don't see her getting cut anytime soon as long as she can put on these type of performances. I mean, yeah, she was, she was, uh, she's been a, she's been a good fighter so far in this later part of her career. Oh, man. So what do we do now, man? Emily Ducote, what she do? I want to take a look at that first round again. Uh, Renner Rini said that fight with Angela Hill and Andrade was good. Yes, yeah, she shows how tough she is. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hariri, sh she should get a bonus. You think she gets a bonus? Yeah, I think she should get a bonus for that one. That was a good finish. All right. Yeah, Emily Cody. she was the minus 130 favorite i got yeah i want to see a first round with y'all again emily needs to get a new game plan yeah yeah new defense you know got to work on that defense a little bit i knew that was going to be a problem too i was like you know that that volume and yet yeah, lack of head movement like she was using on loopy i knew Mm. And they said her corner was shaking their head like she was done. I was like, wow. Yasmin versus Emily. That'd be a good fight. Emily takes some time off and fight unranked fighters and work her way up. Yeah, she did get she did jump in there right into the rank position. And she's only 28, like Lapita. So she still has a little bit of time to work, right? Let's see this. Let's see this round. Let me look at this first round here real quick. Well, I mean, I played a fight again. It's all right. Let's see where Angela Hill just got into her rhythm. Look at this first round. Yeah, you see the Cody already trying to use her feints and look for a good, good, uh, good counter punch. Okay, yeah, she landed the right hand, but you see Angela Hill landed a good calf kick. Angela Hill been liking this pressure style lately. She don't want to lose on the judges' scorecards, you know what I mean? Yeah. Angela Hill. You know how to step in and out. See that footwork? He throwing these girls off. Okay. Cody looking for that right hand over the top. Nice jab from Angela Hill. Yeah. Angela, um, yeah, for her age, too, she got a good gas tank. Right hand over the top for Angela Hill. Yeah, okay. Angela Hill is the Roxy of the strawweight division. That little left hand over the right hand of Angela Hill. I mean, Emily Ducote. Emily Ducote is eating that jab, eating several of them so far. Mm, hard left hook from Angela Hill. Oh, right hand left hook from Angela Hill. Yeah, Angela Hill was uh, pushing this fight. You know, she is attacking from all angles. Right hand jab. 
See, the minute Angela Hill started using her jab more in these fights, she started becoming better. You know, she started getting more confident in, in putting together wins. I see I left hook to the body, then right hand upstairs, then she lands a jab. Nice combinations this fight. <laughs> Angel Hill going downstairs. That jab still popping. It's long and it's it's a quick one. Long, quick jab. That right hand to the body from the Cody, but she's not really landing too much. Yeah, I um overhand right there from Angela Hill. Angela Hill was was really pushing this pace, man. Not too many girls be used to that. Yeah, you gotta have that ground game. Oh, nice left hand. Ooh, another good right hand from Angela Hill, and she just storming forward, so it's kind of tricky to Dakota. Dakota. Is bleeding from the nose early here. Calf kick, right hand. And that's what I was saying earlier. The noses, the noses of these fighters. When I was calling this fight earlier. I said Angela Hill, if she lands that jab on the nose, the Cody gonna start bleeding early. Because these fighters with them, you know, like sharp bridges, you know, sharp noses. Doesn't take much to get it get it leaking. See, already bleeding. <laughs> like I said, her, Misha Tate, Montana, it's 25 seconds, and Angela Hill is working knees, calf kicks, and her jab. Just a high volume pace for the Cody. She can't even get her um, timing down. Oh, Angela Hill finished. First round all pretty strong, man. Didn't she? Look at that. Flurry's putting the Cody on the back foot. Bleeding early, man. Hmm. We later said that clinch is nasty. Yeah, the clinch was pretty, you know, effective, man. I like the I like the clinch work from um from um Angela Hill. Yeah, real said they might not give Hill any more prospects because if she could beat them. Yeah, they might do her like Molly McCann now they might try to put her in there at the top 15 so maybe they'll give her a Watterson rematch I did think I did think Angela Hill edged out Michelle Watterson the first time they fought I mean Tisha Torres she beat her twice so you know she's got the you know she's got the keys to victory on her but Angela Hill at number 12, anybody would be a rematch. You know, Waterson, Verna Genderova, Ebos is up, you know, she's a, upstairs, as I like to say, at 125. Um, Tisha Torre has already beat her twice, so nah. Oh, Renneri said Dern. Yeah, that's not bad. All right, let's look at the second round again. Pumping the jab out, Angela Hill. Look at that jab. Going for the high kick. The Cody got the stance and stuff, but you know, she just ain't letting go. She can't hurt her. She might get right here to the body, but you ain't gonna win this type of striking match. Look at that head control from Angela Hill. You know, she gets that tie clinch. Just kneeing the crap out of her body. Double jab. I ain't gonna lie, I was um kind of torn on picking somebody. Then I just said, you know, Angela Hill probably gonna, as much as we don't think it's good for the division, she's gonna get it. Oh man. The calf kick there from Angela Hill.
Does does it still Nunes get cut? Probably, right? Nice right hand by Cody there, but ooh, hard left hook upstairs from Angela Hill. Set up by right hand. So she doubles up in punches and she starts pushing Emily to Cody back. Emily can't land anything. Or at least she can't land anything with me. And dang, Emily to Cody, she couldn't even hurt Angela Hill in this fight. At least Loopy did. Hmm. Look at this, man. Lafayette said Tisha is pregnant. Yeah, she is. Yes, sir. You heard right. Look at this clinch. Look at that knee to the body. That one stung, too. See how Emily Dakota had to. Yeah, she had to shell that body up real quick. She kind of reacted. Now she getting busted up. Mm. Well, it was their night. They, they kind of, you know, they did. Her, Yasmin and Angela Hill did train together a little bit. Okay, because um, partial left land there for Cody. Uh, yeah, yeah, six. Yasmin looked uh, impressive today. Had a scary first round, but you know, oh, right hand from Dakota landed, but um, Angela Hill. Ain't going nowhere. Hard right, left hook combination. She wanted to land that step in elbow, too. It's another way she likes to land. Ooh, them knees were tearing. Dakota, Dakota wasn't ready for that, man. This is that, what was I saying? This tie clinch was going to be a key to victory, yeah. You know, like how she did the loopy. Kind of dip her head down and turn her. And she's using it. She used it well. Yeah. Six said Yasmin only has a few fights. Yeah. Uh, this is a second in the UFC. I think she's what? Uh, 10 and 0 now. Uh, I think she's 10 and 0 right now. Hill, look at them shot. 49 shots to the head, 22 to the body. Yeah, man. The Cody offense is looking. Yeah, she's 10 0 now. Been looking impressive with her lack of defense. Tonight has been a showcase of what a lack of defense can do to you. You know, Yasmin, she won, but she had a scary moment where she got dropped. So, you know, that shows you she needs to work on her defense. Um, Estella Nunes, she winds up getting knocked out. Her lack of defense. Dakota is really getting hurt. Her lack of defense. Right? Hmm. James, yeah. Yeah, Valentina trained. Yeah, she, yeah, Yasmin trained Valentina a little bit. I think Angela Hill. Yeah, Angela Hill probably, probably could beat Tisha this time, but I don't think it would happen. Yeah, I, I think so, James. You know, the, the bottom half has um, – the bottom half is a little bit more competitive at 125. Yeah, that yes, yeah, six. That tie clinch was effective. I said that when I was watching that. When I was I did a round by round earlier on um Angela Hill and Loopy. And I said that if she grabs that neck and you know turns her and gets that tie clinch, she can land some knees to the body like that. And um, you know, Panay Panay was able to do it and they trained together, so they they worked it out. 
Yasmin versus who? Who next? Um, Gabriel. Um, well, why not her and Demopolis or somebody? Yeah, Demopolis or Loopy. I want to see her in there with a grapple. Yeah, Angela came out in this third round shooting, boy. Yeah, Tisha going to be out for like a year. Yeah, Tisha's style, it, Tisha's style for Hill is like what Hill is to these other girls, right? Tisha, I think, will always kind of beat Angela Hill the same way Angela Hill beat these girls that don't know how to handle that style. Yeah, Yasmin versus Poliana or Pinheiro, not bad. I mean, her and Lupi, that would be a good fight, though. Yeah, I, look, I, I wanted Dakota to win for the sake of the division, but it's pretty, uh, pretty good to see Angela Hill turn things around and, and utilize – her strengths a little bit more now. You know what I mean? Six out feet water send the Yasmin to welcome her to the rankings. Ooh, if Yasmin won that, I think that'd be Waterson's last fight. Excuse me. Sorry about that. Yeah, Angela Hill was really putting the clinic on by the, by this last round. Yasmin versus Carnalosi or Denise Gomes. Yeah, I keep forgetting about Denise Gomes. I like to see Denise Gomes and e. Yasmin Lucindo. That would be a, a good fight. Carnalosi, I think Yasmin would win that fight. But it could be a test for her grappling. Or Carnalosi and Denise Carnalosi and Denise Gomes. I think I'd like to see Yasmin fight uh Demopolis. Maybe one more unranked fighter. Jameson Whaley has a good chance of running that division for years if she takes care of Lamos and Rose. Yeah, those are her biggest threats. Even bigger than Andrade, though. A six said teacher reminds me of Andrade. Andrade without the power, right? <laughs> Yasmin versus Ricci. Um, I think I would go with Yasmin. That'd be a good test for her grappling, though, and her takedown defense. But I still think Ricci's a little green. To have the Ricci, I think she's a little green. I think Tap the Ricci versus Lucindo Gomes. Any of them fighters would be good for her. I think Yasmin would hurt her probably. Andrade won't beat Whaley. Yeah, Andrade. That's why I don't consider her as a threat like Rose and um, Lamos. Those girls with really good technique, like Rose, could be a problem for more than Andrade. Uh, Sink said, "Could Andrade dump Whaley or no?" Anything is possible. Like, she's still got the puncher's chance. She's got the puncher's chance. But I think Wei Lee can figure her style out a lot easier than she can figure Rose's style out. You know, Rose is more technical. Even Man Lamos would be more technical. So, yeah, Andrade could dump her. Yeah, for sure. She's got the chance. She's got the physical threat, the power threat. But when it comes to technique, I think... You know, Wei Li wouldn't have any problem figuring her out. 
Now, if a big shot lands, it lands, right? If she gets the squeeze on her, it happens. Because, you know, I thought Lamos was going to use her technique, but the minute she got locked up and squeezed, that was it. But, yeah, Andrade always has that big, big chance because of her power advantage and strength advantage. But it isn't like I see her out grappling or, like, even out striking Andrade. I mean, out Wei Lee. Yeah, Rogue getting messed up, man. Um, hold on. Yeah, gonna feel it, Rogue. Yeah, I'm glad you noticed that. James says Chikagan was getting beat and punched to her body and ended it. Same Chikagan was, she was getting beat and punched to her body and ended it. Yeah, th those girls are usually outworking her with technique, and then she comes behind the back and beats them, right? That's how, you know, Rose was winning the first couple of rounds before she dumped Rose on her head. Chikagan looked like she was winning on strikes. She got hit to the body. Andrade's calf kicks. I mean, Lamo's calf kick looked effective. Like she was going to control it, but then she just got squeezed up. Mm. Well, Emily Dakota got to work. Gabriella, I said, I think Yasmin needs to fight two unranked fighters before someone ranked. You think two more? Three is usually good to me. You want to see her do four? I mean, it really wouldn't hurt, right? Because they all need work. Give her some time to work on defense. I mean, if she can get Lupia Demopolis, uh, maybe, yeah. That wouldn't be bad. Oh, wow, wait a minute. The road bounce back? Yeah. Nico. Let's see that replay. You get messed up, but dang, look at that right hand. Nico. Uppercut right hand. Look at that right hand. Knee to the face. Oh, now see here. The ref could have stopped it here. The ref could have stopped it. There's a couple more shots in there where I think it could stop. <laughs> mm. Robert Henry said it was a left hook that caught Rose at before that slam sequence happened, Andrade's power has a way to slow you down. Oh, yeah. Corey McKenna versus Velismus. Who would I pick? Uh, yeah, that fight is in a couple weeks, right? Is that in January? I think McKenna's more well-rounded. I think she has a better ground game. But something about Velismus's footwork and her striking overall, I like it. I do like her. I like her style. But as far as what I like, that don't make the right pick, though, right? Huh. Hmm. Let me see who would I lean towards in this fight with Corey McKenna. Man, that's like two weeks too, right? They're both seven and two. Wow. 
this is that's a good equal fight right there. I'm gonna I'm gonna say uh I'm gonna say Cheyenne will listen to though. Not with my not with the most confidence, but I think Willismus could win that fight. Yeah, he landed crazy clean shots, James. I see I saw that even in slow motion before the stoppage. He landed that's what I'm saying. Those were clean shots landing. He was trying to roll, unlike Izzy, he was getting hit. He was getting hit with some clean punches. Yeah, he earned a bonus, though. Yeah, I think Corey McKenna is a little bit more well-rounded, but I think that Willismus is a little bit more um, confident in her style. But she got a good team, though. You know, Corey. Working with uh, Uriah Faber. Watterson doesn't have that title contender anymore in her. No, she don't. I don't think she does. You know, unfortunately. James said, yeah, after that stop, yeah, that stoppage was late. Izzy, after I re-saw it, Alex landed a bit less shots than I initially thought, but I still think Izzy was a good stoppage. Could have gone a little longer, maybe. Yeah, that's all I'm saying. I mean, count them eight or nine shots that you saw. Like, not that many of them landed clean like this. Like, Roe was cracking him because he didn't know how to roll with it. He was rolling right into it, and that's why he was getting hit with the right hand. He was getting hit. And the referee here, I was like, man, he could have stopped. Lolita said McKenna. Yeah, McCorry McKenna, I think she is more well-rounded. But I like science style, and I think she's a little fast in the feet. She can move in. She can move in uh, land and volume. He says more like six, but it was the left hook that did the most. Yeah, it was the left one, man. The left hook to me did the most damage, yeah. The rights were just kind of there as he rolled to the right with them. But, yeah, the left hook is the one that the one they got the photo of. That That's the one that really uh, distorted, distorted Izzy's face, like you can see in that photo. Oh, Robert Henry, she whooped it like somebody's grandma, though. She whooped that girl like a young young girl. She was like a grandma. You know, they don't underestimate these older folks now. Give some of these older people confidence, right? You can still fight like that. Yeah, not a bad card tonight. I mean, the, the two women's fights turned out to be pretty decent. Price was totally gassed out. Yeah, he was done. Didn't have enough to go on. Then he couldn't even move his head. So he ate that right hand. I said, okay, it's about over here. This thing said it feels like a pay-per-view. Yeah, it do. You know, it's on schedule like one. And the, the level of fights, you know, I can't argue that they are a little bit better than some pay-per-views. There was one pay-per-view I didn't, I didn't care for. It. Like a few months ago, I can't remember which one it was, but it was one of these pay-per-views I didn't really care for. I thought the fight night cards were better. This is another one. I mean, this is this is like the third pay-per-view card. I'd say, yeah, it's probably like been legit. 
Fight Night card, yeah. <laughs> exactly, six. Price, he was rolling into those punches. That's what I'm saying. He was doing the opposite. That's why I saw the referee could have stopped it quick because he was rolling into the punches. He was doing half the work for him. Granny no shit, get out of here with that. <laughs> Talking about number one contender, Mano. The, the undefeated fighter in the UFC. Hey, to each that I don't know. Since I don't like Mano either. I do. I still rock with Mano. I mean. You got too many fickle fans that the minute they don't get their way, they start crying. I mean, hey, I, I can't make up the fighter's mind. I still I still am a fan of their style. I was just talking to my man today about that in boxing, and we were like, you know, some of these fans, y'all too, y'all too emotional. Like the choices they making ain't gonna hurt me. It's it's only gonna hurt them in the long run, right? So I still can watch the fighter, you know, I'm not mad. Yeah, <laughs> Robin Henry rolled it into the punches. I mean, James, if if Manon is a granny, what does that make Kayla? <laughs> I'm just saying. Because um, Manon's fighting on a UFC level. Manon is on UFC level. Sink said, I like to till the duck and then she can fight. Oh, come on, Sink. Sink, you are, Sink, you quick to turn your back on our Ruho too. You called her fraud, fraud of Ruho. Hey, man. That fight's still going to happen. Hey, man. Y'all be switching up quick. See, see me, fighter I rock with, they lose. Yo, I'm still there. I don't duck either. I'm still on my channel. Teresa Blader lost. I'm right here. You know why? Because, hey, I still think she deserves to get her spot. She just young, a little green. She can still work. And they don't talk a lot. You know what? They don't do a lot of talking. And Marcus said, I guess you don't like Alexa Grasso either. <laughs> you know, it's it's like, look, see, K, see the difference between Manon and even Grasso, they UFC level. They trying to take their time, but eventually they'll get this shot. See, Kayla talking about she queen of MMA and she she ain't even in the UFC. She's still fighting low level fighters. She still got a regional belt compared to the ufc she got a belt like invict fc type belt because you know she hasn't fought the level of the ufc fighters you know your resume don't compare to amanda or chris cyborg or valentina so fighter like that doing way more talking than these fighters in the ufc she been known as number one Hey, she could take the fight. Yeah, I agree. But if she just want to take one more, that's that's on her. Difference is, you know, she's there and it's going to happen. She knows it's going to happen. <laughs> James said, they dug at the top of the top. <clears throat> <laughs> I just realized 
I, I just realized she just isn't as good as I thought. Dang, man. You 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 don't know your styles and stuff, right? You just you just realized it. See, there was like four or five fighters I picked. I already told y'all what how good most of them were. And y'all didn't even want to believe me. I said quadruple threat was Tyler Santos. Y'all see what she did. But no, she's number one contender right now. Aaron Blanchfield, she's right. And only one not right is Miranda Maverick, who I still think is a smart fighter. So out of those four fighters I picked, three of them are ranked. <clears throat> All right, Sink said he's still rocking with Pena. That's his favorite fighter. Well, you know, even when you talk about skill, you know, she's not as good as she was. You know, even Pena got a dog, but you see she couldn't even make adjustments in this Nunes fight. I mean, she got dropped multiple times. Like, she she never stopped trying, but she never figured a way out in that second fight. Down, down, down. She never really made any adjustments either. How many times did she get dropped in that fight? Five times? Marcus said nothing's changed from a known as far as her style go. It's just that her level of competition has gotten better as I expected. Pretty much. Pretty much. That's why, you know, you've seen her stop girls in the beginning, but as they got better and better, you know, the competition gets stiffer. It's still the same style. That's why I'm still rocking with her. You know what I mean? Like, When the knockout stopped coming, you know, the fans start leaving sometimes. So yeah, James said, Yeah, yeah, new yeah, Pena did some damage. Pena was a dog, she's a dog, but she made her, you know, she put her in a dog fight with dog gone if she didn't win a single round. I'm looking at this Anders fight, Anders and Dawkins. Ooh, Dawkins. Good right hand on Anders. Aldania versus Nunes. That's a good one. On the feet, Aldania. Maybe. But I see Nunes taking it to the ground. I'm going to go with Nunes. I would like that fight, though. Who is the next female OG fighter next to retire? Um, it's got to be somebody in the Bantamweight division. Um, got to be somebody in the Bantamweight division six. Maybe maybe um, Holly Holm or um, even Nunez, you know. Um, Holly, Nunez. Well, Pena going to be around for a while. She's still got something to prove. So does Aldania, Vieira. But when you're talking like old school from the Ronda, at least the Ronda era, even Rocky, even Rocky Pennington. Rocky Pennington. 
might want to settle down soon. Yeah, Rocky Pennington, Holly Holm, or Amanda Nunes. Don't be surprised if Rose retire in like a year or two, though. You know, she's still young. She might not want to fight anymore either. Who else retired so far? Jessica I, Ioana, Roxanne, Marie, Mari Renault. Yeah, they've all retired, right? I know Sarah McMahon's not, not in the UFC anymore. Oh, wow. Eric Anders dropped him. Look at that. Hard left hand. Listen to James trying to knock her. Get at it, man. You're trying to knock Pena, her way over Pena. Excuse me. Gary said Carla might retire. Yeah, Carla could. You know, Carla's on that list. You know, she's already became a two time champion. Might not fight her way up anymore. Oh boy, he talking about you, you, hey, uh, 2 and 0, James, 2 and 0. Until that next fight happens, we can't say anything. So, who does Angela Hill fight from here? Does she get a top 10 fighter one more time since she's 37? Nunez is tra Nunez is training again, right? Somebody said she was training. Yeah, I can't. Yeah, yeah, I can't knock Nunez. I mean, yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, somebody told me she was training now. So I was saying the other day, yeah, somebody said she was in there working. James said, "Not, not anyone here in depth. Not anyone here. What that believes she won? Hey, it's on paper. Two and zero. Oh. Better recognize. Yeah, yeah, I can see Rose retiring now. I mean, if anybody you know looks to." get out the game and not take a bunch of punishment is her i mean she'd be farming she'd be playing the piano yeah how is that saint why why does it always turn into a debate yeah it, it don't matter where it is you know it don't matter the setting it don't matter the host it don't matter the place or the time it could be here it could be on the coach it could be on bj's channel it could be on mars man it could be in the north pole you could have won the lottery, James, and you still going to say something about this whole situation. Yeah, real said Val might retire in the next three years when she's 40. Yeah, if you put a time stamp on Valentina, maybe about three or four years. Yeah, I don't see her doing it till she's 40 like that because everybody tends to lose a little bit of something after a while. Shevchenko ain't even talking about fighting Wei Lee. She feels Wei Lee ain't at her level. And, 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 and rightfully so. I mean, you know, that's not a fight that she needs to worry about herself. You know, you know, I need Wei Lee going to prove herself worthy when she defends her title enough times.
Man, debate each round and back it up. I ain't even gonna bother, man. That man. You think Val and Nunes might retire at the same time or no? Um, I, I think Nunes will retire before Valentina. You know, I think Nunes has accomplished a lot and, and had more wear and tear on her body than Valentina. So she probably leave first. You know, two division world champion, two wins over Valentina. Right, James? Two wins over Valentina. And she's had some rough fights. You know, she trains hard, moving up and down in weight. I think the body, I think her body's had more wear and tear, a little bit more taxing on her MMA hat. So I think Nunes will retire first. Al Daniel will be champion if Nunes is gone. Gone. I think after Nunes leaves, the belt will change around. I think Al Daniel has a good chance to get it. Yeah, I agree. You're right, James. It is too easy. You know, it's 2-0. and Nunez got it 2-0. and The one thing you have to admit is it's Valentina's fault that she didn't get the win. Look, I, I give Valentina a lot of credit when it comes to being a defensive fighter, but when you don't let your hands go and you don't take – you don't take the reins and you don't drive that horse right you just want to sit back too much and pose that's what happens there has to be a time where you you let the hands go how you like that james that's the truth that's the exact thing i said that first night it was her fault she lost because she didn't bag rounds you have to dominate the champion and she didn't do that she couldn't even knock Nunez down, at least, you know, score a couple of knockdowns and convince us. You know, don't show too much respect. There has to be a time where you have to go in there and really outland the champion. It sucks. I, I love defense, but yeah, there has to be a time where you let it go. You have to let your hands go. Defense is a big part of longevity like i always say but there has to be a time in there where you have to go in there against somebody like nunez and push her like juliana pena did she pushed her she took her out of her element It don't matter. It don't matter what about Nunes. Nunes can let a little bit go. You know why? Because she's the champion. To beat the to be the champion, you got to beat the champion. Robert Henry said combo. Some people love the debate, even when they run completely out of actual points to argue and go for the five hundred. That's why I don't lose my cool over here. And treat them like you. <laughs> yeah, I don't. Like I said, man, it's like. You know, I can live with it. That that rematch that night, I was like, you know, Val, if you lose it, hey, it's over, man. Yeah, yeah, like Lodi said, Nunez won. That's it, two and zero. Oh. By my logic, I have 100% credibility. I don't need I don't need your approval, James. By my logic, what happened that night proves it. I've got all the credibility. I don't care who disagrees or not. You don't have to agree with me. This is my logic. That's why Nunez is still 2-0. My logic says Nunez may not have got the full dominant victory like she did against Ronda or Nunez. 100% credibility. Next. That's all I have to say is next. Mm-hmm. 
Six said Valentine is a good fighter. She's just not my favorite. Yeah, I can see that. I can see that. And I respect you for saying that, Six, because, you know, some people, when they don't, when they're not really a fan of a fighter, they always say something like, you know, I don't, I don't like this fighter, but they won't give them their credit. But, yeah, you give a person like this. I'm the same way. I give a person their credit. It's fans. I'm fighters I'm not really big, big fans of, you know what I mean? Yeah, there's a that's what I'm saying. This what low leader said. Kel said, what's up, Kel? Kel said Nunes beat Shevchenko the third time. Yeah, I think man, Nunes is you know, I think Nunes will be a little bit more confident. I won't say comfortable, but she'll be more confident and committed in a Shevchenko fight. She's going to say, this is my weight division. Couldn't hurt me last time. I'm going to start punching through that guard. Uh, that's going to be a good fight. though. I, I think they should just make it happen right now until somebody at Flyway is ready. And, and, it, and like I said, it ain't even a fight I really want. Uh, Robert Harris, I feel like. Val won the second fight. I'm not having a stroke. <laughs> still, I'm not having a stroke over it. Val showed the judges more. I guess didn't happen. I moved on. Right? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, you make your argument. You think she won? Sure. You know, I think there's a lot of people that do, but you know, you know, not everybody's wetting their pants over it. So, you know, I'm I'm good with it. When I saw it that night. My same feeling hasn't changed to this day. It still says that, Valentina, you had to do a little bit more. You know? Because you see, like, even in boxing sometimes, like, I'm going to take boxing. I know boxing is one discipline, but even for Floyd, there were times he would change from a boxer to a puncher. You know, he would kind of walk guys down and start – start piling up more points and he would beat you up a little bit more he would change his style up but if you're facing like a big fighter like Nunes, there's got to be some type of adjustments made in there where you can feel comfortable U.S. 300, Shevchenko, Nunez, Shevchenko 3, or Nunez, Pena 3. UFC 300? Good gosh. Maybe by that time we'll do Nunez, Pena 3, right? <laughs> How far are we off now? We are in what? And that's a long way away. I think I would do it sooner. I would think by 300, you know, Pena would be definitely ready or would already had a rubber match somewhere in between, between what, 282 and 300. I don't think we have any WMMA fights on 282, do we? Kel said 2024 would be UFC 300. Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That 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 that's doable. That's doable. Sink said, I see a bunch of J's running down my <laughs> J's running down my screen. Six, every time Nunez goes back to the drawing board, it's like she comes back in super scion mode. Yeah, she came back a little pissed off about that last performance. She, I think Nunez said, you know, Pena got way, got way too much under her skin. Pena did. It showed in that tough house too. When when Nunez started taking 
started taking all of them games too, like the axe throwing and all of that. She was taking that time to work. I think Pena was a better trainer in the house, but that just shows you that Amanda was thinking about herself. Boy, she's like, I got to get back right. I got to beat up Pena. She was like, y'all can do what you want, but I'm training for me. <laughs> Mojo said a 130-person Valentina fighting 160-pound Amanda. Why are people so crossed up in these matchups? Weight classes are there for a reason, right? Yeah, if she chooses never to come back to 135, I wouldn't be mad either, Mojo. That's why I said they do the rubber match, just do it now. If not, ah. Well, we just said this channel is so much fun. Thank you. Uh, yeah, yeah, thank you. Pena was too prideful. Nunez was humble. Yeah, she was. Um, you know, I like Pena's attitude, though, sometimes. You know, I, I definitely like it. I don't think she, you know, she wasn't really like she didn't really piss me off. I, I liked it. But yeah, like prideful thinking the same thing was gonna work, but she had to go back and, and change her style as well. There was no way Pena was gonna win the same way against Nunes. High five, what's going on? Sink said Pena would have lost if she didn't have the mentality she did the first time. Yeah. Six said by UFC 300, Whaley era would be, it would be Whaley's era for WMMA. I hope by 300, man, she's racked up maybe three or four title defenses. Let's see. Whaley defend her title, what, two times next year, maybe? Then by 2024, maybe one more, that's three. I can't, man. Man, whenever Wei Lee versus Amanda Lamos gets announced, man, I'm gonna be hyped. I'm gonna be more hyped than this Carla fight. Who plans on betting on Wei Lee versus Amanda Lamos? Who feels confident in that fight? Whoever you picking, who feels confident to bet in Wei Lee versus Lamos? I'm not betting anything i'm gonna watch that fight yeah Ro yeah robert pina's pina pina is pina pina's a good trainer too you know i think i got lamos all day okay by stoppage, by stoppage, and do you plan to bet on it? Yeah, I um, I definitely am leaning towards something that's pushing me towards Lamos a little bit here. But really, I, I'm just happy that Lamos got to the top. Really, I could watch this fight and not pick. Just so I can say I told y'all Lamos would get there. <laughs> if I had a... Yeah, I didn't even have a triple threat for strawweight, but it was just like Lamos was the only one that I was more so convinced in that could make it to the top. Not, not so much anybody else, really. Kill says ain't beats Lamos by submission or spinning elbow KO. Dang, he thinks she'll do the KO. Probably <laughs> I'm comedy at all. <laughs> What's tomorrow? Sunday. All right. 
I'm gonna do open link tomorrow, Robert. You gotta come on, man. James said Whaley's aggression can play in the Lamos's hands. It could. Now that I agree with you on. Lolita said Lamos over Wei Lee. Hey, we got some, I got some, got some folks in here going for Lamos. All right, I like that. Well, Lolita's been Lolita's been a day one for Lamos, so you know. I picked against the Lamos one time, and that was the uh, Marina fight. I had to pick. Uh, you know, I like them both the same, but I had to pick. Gary Baldwin said Whaley by submission. Gary, Gary said, I feel like Whaley has been has been less aggressive though. A little, yeah, a little bit more patient. A little bit more patient. Yeah, I picked Lamos against Andrade too. Mm. Yeah, Robert Henry said usual time. Yeah, yeah, we do like seven thirty or something like that. All right, who's the next fight here? Jack Hermanson. Jack Hermanson. Seems like they're moving slow with this card. How many fights is on this main card anyway? One, two, three, four, five, six. Dang. Seven fights on this main card. Yeah, yeah, I picked Lemos against mostly everybody. The only one I did pick was Mar Marina because you know I was I was looking at experience and stuff, but I wasn't confident in it. I still think she beat Angela Hill too, by you know a close margin. Kel said, "I still think there should be an all women's UFC pay per view twenty twenty three ten years since women have started competing UFC." I wouldn't be mad at you know me. I'd watch it. We'd be on here calling it. Maybe try to interview some of the women on it. If they did like an all women's car, that would be shoot. I would try to get a ticket to it. You know, you'd have to have the flyweight champion fight and the strawweight champion fight if you did an all women's car. The thing is, who would be the main event or the co main event? I think that, I think the main event would be Wei Lee though and Val. Val might have to be co cool, man. She'd be mad though, boy. <laughs> I mean, who agrees with me on that? I think, I think Whaley might would have to be the be the main event. I mean, when we look at like numbers and backing, if they did like an all women's car with a strawweight and a flyweight championship fight on it, Whaley probably would be the main event, and Val would probably have to be the co-main event. I'm just talking like marketing wise, like. Not even me being like a some type of diehard fan, but just how the UFC would probably do it. They probably say Wei Lee versus whoever would be the main event, and uh, Val versus uh, Tyler Santos, something like that, you know. Yes, yeah, Saint Wei Lee main main event, hundred percent. Yeah, I know Val would have. You know, she would feel some way. She'd be a little salty. I mean, I could see how, but Wei Lee was, you know, yeah, I look at what, what would be more, uh, which would be considered the, the main event, though. Angela Hill called out Carolina. Oh, did she? 
Marcus said Angela Hill called out Carolina. Angela Hill might get her third victory in a row by stoppage. Hill said, oh, like he has a Hill called out Kobe Kavich, USC London. Oh, man. Dang, Lafayette, she's trying to get her first stoppage win here in a minute. When was Hill's last stoppage? Like two years ago? Zama said Hill won't stop Carolina. Okay, if she don't stop her, she might break something. Let me put it that way. Uh, let me see. Kel said Ronda Rousey versus Carano be the main event. Nunez now Daniel the co-main event. Zhang Lamos, Shevchenko Santos too. Mm. At this point, would they be the main event though? Ronda Rousey. Ronda probably still could pull some numbers in. I mean, if they really wanted to do something big with women, Rhonda's name probably still could pull a lot of numbers. And if it was going to be all women in the UFC, Rhonda tied to it, even if it was like an exhibition match, it still would do some big numbers. High five said Wei Lee is so committed to her grappling now that she will be everywhere the fight goes. I believe Lamos will close to be would choose to be on the feet so she'll be confident of her power. Oh wow, Marcus said she ain't returning. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ronda and Carano both said they would come back and fight each other, but I don't know if it happens. Hopefully it does. Probably be like some type of catch weight fight, right? Catch weight exhibition match. Lowly to sit browsing and Carano. Yeah. Robert Henson can't get him. He said can't. He said salute. Oh, you can't get on tomorrow. Okay. He said we'll be at a comedy show. Okay. He said be on around. Be, be around Wednesday. Yeah, I'll be around Wednesday. Yeah, I'll probably be on like Wednesday. Uh, a local comedy show or is it somebody well known? Like at a local comedy show. Yeah, definitely be safe. Oh, improv. Okay. All right. Oh, DC improv. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, Gina Carano would have to get really good in, into some good fighting shape. Six said Lamos has good BJJ as well. Yeah, she does. We we're talking about that on the other stream. You know, I, I still think her her BJJ is 
is good. She won't be that easy to submit. Man, a man, the boss is uh chilling more. Well, it wasn't the man the boss that pulled out of the fight, you know, so she out having fun, so. Yeah, no, no fights. Yeah, man, there, there are no fights, um, no WMMA fights this Saturday. Yeah, Gary, you were talking about it. Angel Hill called out Carolina. That's that's doable. That's doable. I'm gonna have to watch that Yasmin. Yasmin is still a Nunes fight again tonight. That was a good knockout. Or TKO, whatever you want to call it. Um, let's see. Carolina retires. Yeah, she'll retire if she loses this one. Six said you can't have an all women car without cyborg. Yeah. But, excuse me, if it was all UFC, yeah, you can. Hill destroys. Hill destroys Carolina. Yeah, if, if Hill don't knock her out, Hill would probably, you know, put some hands on her and do some damage. Cyborg Rousey, ooh, back in yeah, back in the day, I don't know, Cyborg probably would have won that. It would probably been a catch weight like either one forty or one forty five. But at that time, you know, Ronda wasn't having it, which I understand why. You know, at the time, because the whole, you know, enhancements and stuff, so. Carolina going to backpack Hill to a split decision. <laughs> yeah, that split decision is how that's that's um Angela Hill's curse. James said, remember that Andrade KO on Carolina? That was scary. Yeah, today to this day, I think that's one of the Sickest strawweight knockouts in history. I'm gonna do a top five knockouts, man. That was one of the baddest, brutal KOs ever in strawweight history. I mean, Rose getting dropped on her head was something, but I'm talking like clean punches. I'm talking about with a clean punch. Andrade, wow. She laid her out. Carolina had the wrong approach, boy. She was trying to slug with Andrade. You know, Joanna from the jump, Joanna was trying to, you know, jab and move. She she fought the smart fight, but for some reason, Carolina wanted to go in there and bang. She wanted to go in there and bang, and she paid the price. Still to this day, one of the nastiest. I don't think anything touches that. 
you know, Lamos dropped some girls, but Andrade's, you know, Mac truck of a right hand. Wow. Nothing touches that one. I like Paige's head kick of Beck Rollins. You know, that was a good head kick knockout. You know, that was a good head kick knockout. Her crane kick knockout, that was good. But when we talking like clean punches, man. Okay, Jay said, oh, yo, Lolita said JJ kicked and kicked Andrade square in the jaw. Andrade just smiled. You're right. Yeah, Joanna was just on a clear, clear, you know, uh, points, a clear path to point victory. You know, she wasn't trying to trade. Well, just uh, still no word on what was wrong with Cortez. No, uh-uh. Gear said, Cheyenne's head kick to ground and pound is my favorite from Strawweight. Oh, yeah. Uh, who was she knocking out? That wasn't named Gloria DePaula. That was a loud kick. Yeah. Man, that Andrade one, that was sick, though. Hmm. Marina's. Win over Ebos, that was a good knockout, too. I mean, that was like two and one, two for the price of one. Of course, flyweight Valentina, that head kick of Jessica I, right, that was a good kick. That was 125, but you know, still. Yeah, Marquez knocking out Pacquiao. That was crazy, man. I remember watching that that night. I was like, wow, that was crazy. Ten years ago, I can't believe it's been that long. Yeah, uh, Belismus, yeah. <laughs> Gary Boss, I like head dribbling. <laughs> yeah, when she dropped the, the, the ground and pound, head be bouncing. Ooh, Juarez knocking out Leon. No, nah, that was a good knockout, too. Let me see if that's on here. Hold on. Low leader, the fourth fight. Yeah, the fourth Pacquiao fight, yeah. James Clark. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that, that, yeah, James Clark, that Mancini fight. Yeah. That, that messed with Mancini. Yeah, that, what is it? What is his name? I can't remember. Hold on. That guy he had beat. Yeah, it, it bothered him mentally for a while.
the Ray Boom Boom Mancini, right? Oh, yeah, Kim. Yeah, that was a good one, man. I mean, I mean, not a good. I mean, it was tragic, though. It was a tragic fight. Yeah. Yeah, he he, he died in there, little leader. Yeah, Ray Boom Boom Mancini. Yeah, the Dooku Kim or something like that. Well, at least I went 2-0 tonight with my fight picks. Something just kept, something would not let me pick. It would be Cody for sure tonight. I was just like, I don't know. Oh, yeah, I didn't even know there's bare knuckle boxing tonight. Oh, yeah, yeah, Bruno Brazil. That's a good fight. Yeah, Bruno Brazil, she... Where's Gabrielle at? We ain't been talking about Bruno Brazil. Yeah, she's a good fighter. You know, she looks the part. I'm not gonna say yeah, yeah. I, she she had a good win in the contender series. I don't know what she looks like yet, right? So we'll see. Yeah, man. Yeah, Duke Kim. Well, this is a long fight card. I definitely ain't calling this whole thing. I'm going to get out of here in a minute. Where is Conejo at? Is she? Where is Conejo and Kanako Murata? That's a good wrestling match right there. Put them two wrestlers together. Sink said Wei Lee would get beat up by Val. Dang. It definitely ain't her time to fight Val yet, man. I can do without that fight for now. Conejo versus Dern, Snake said. Um, Conejo might get herself submitted with those tosses. Oh, there's Gabrielle. She said, I want to see 115 prospects going up the rankings like 125 prospects are doing now. Yeah, I do too, but, you know, they, they got some work to do. Yeah, 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 Gabrielle, don't forget about um, Bruna Brazil. She's supposed to be fighting soon yeah I want to see Kanako Murata and um, Kanejo since they've both been on a long layoff that'd be a good wrestling match Zama said Murata's like 100 times better wrestler, though. Yeah, she's still been off, though. It'll still be a good fight. Oh, Lolita said Dern. Dern versus Kaneo. She think Dern would win that fight. Well, just said thanks for the fight compared. Yep, yep, no problem. Six I didn't catch on. Yeah, I didn't catch on. I don't, I don't even know what you're talking about. 
You ever said, do you think the veterans of 115 are better than 125? Uh, yeah. I think so, Gabriella. When you're talking about um, Rose, Marina, look at the wins that Marina's racked up. Like, look at the winning streak. Look at look at her resume. Top 15 fighters. Um, even Tisha Torres, you know, she's proven to be a good, tough fighter. Um, not even her. Like, because, you know, she did rack up some losses, but not even her. But aside from her, just like, Yon Zhang on. Um, even if you want to throw Yoana back in the mix, I mean, the, the top five veterans, yeah, I'd say are better. The thing is, 125, they still have room to grow because there's some green fighters there. You said that's why the prospects are having a hard time climbing the rankings, or no. I think so. I think so because the top 15 and 115 tends to get, it's kind of a mix. They're really more so seasoned at straw weight because the division has been around a long time, right? Because you, you got to remember, you still got girls that have been around since 2014. So they've been experienced, right? They're experienced. But then, you look at the level of straw weights that they're signing. Some of these girls don't need to be here yet. Like I said, Tabitha Ricci, she was signed, she was signed premature. Um, uh, uh, Estella Nunez was signed kind of premature. Uh, who else? Some of these girls that are on losing streaks, you know, they, 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 they don't have enough skills to even beat the Angela Hills or even like the Carolina. Savannah Juarez, she just got cut. I mean, she's kind of older, but still, they didn't have the skills to win because they, they, they just don't have the balance there. See, flyweight's kind of a newer division. That's why you see more um, growth, time to grow. But, man, like, yeah, Strawweight's got better veterans, I think. Yeah, yeah, for sure. That's why it would be such a landmark for Wei Li if she could keep that belt for, for at least four or five title defenses, right? Uh, Gabrielle said, do you think Grasso was still at 115? If at 115, she would have fought for the belt or no. By now, I think she could have. By now, I think she could have. Because I think. Let me see. Well, she did lose the call, all right? But let's say she got back on her streak, you know, and she beat. There was a time her and Marina were going to fight. And um, if the weight wasn't a problem for her and her ground game improved, she probably could have beat Marina. Let's say she beats Marina and Yang John on. Or she could get by Rose. Yeah, she probably would have fought for the belt, whether Rose had the belt or Wei Lee. I think she probably would have been fighting for the belt. But yeah, she ran into some problems like Suarez and them. <laughs> Yeah, I remember her and Marina were supposed to fight, but that, that's the one fight that didn't happen, right? When did that happen? When was that supposed to happen? Hold on. Marina versus Marina versus Alexa Grasso. They were signed on the fight. Maybe like 2018, I want to say. Yeah, 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 2019. Two times they were supposed to fight in 2019, but it got canceled both times. Yeah. 
Brian said, no way Suarez beats Valentina. Not right now. How about the wins? How about she wins a couple of fights after four years? Yeah, yeah. She's too far from that. She's way too far from that. And we don't even know what her stand-up looks like right now. Because because before when she was at 115, I think the one fight that would have been tough for her would have been Joanna. I think she could have beat Andrade. Style-wise, I think she could have beat uh, Rose. But Joanna would have been a tough fight for Suarez. Like a good, strong stand-up fighter with a good jab and good push kick. Probably would have gave her good takedown defense, would have gave her problems. And I think Val right now, that's not even in the talks right now. This is a different weight, too. Lolita said Marina is too skinny. Uh, Gary said Whaley has better quality finishes, that's for sure. By post opinion, knocks Val out with the left hand. <laughs> Dang. He's an opinion, knocks Val out with the left hand. Oh. Pena gets worked by Val. So what did Whaley do in the first fight? He had the best war in WMA history. So Whaley is garbage after that. What are y'all talking about? Gary Ballin said Pena gets outworked by Val. Yeah. Or counterpunch to death. Yeah, real said, hopefully Suarez can come back and rack up some wins. I hope so, too. I hope. I think she needs to fight one unranked fighter first. One unranked fighter and then, you know, step it up to the low top 15. Because, you know, she's really, you know, she's only 9-0 right now. She's still, she still, she kind of missed a lot of years of development. So there's no problem with her taking a couple of steps back, right? I like to see her fight, you know, Kareem Silva, maybe. And then maybe, you know, somebody like Aaron Blanchfield. You know, Melissa Gatto, Kareem Silva. Those are good names for, a, you know, a return in Suarez. Uh oh, let's look at this Tai Tuivasa fight, y'all. I forgot he was on here. It ain't going the distance. Uh, right. All right, let's see. Pavlovich, Tuivasa and Pavlovich. The number four and number five. Let's see. See, oh, oh, Pavlovich coming with some combinations, hard right hands. But Tui Lassa came back. Oh, Pavlovich dropped him with a hard left hand, hard right hands. Look, Tui Lassa not answering. Tui Lassa hurt, boy. Look at him. He trying to roll with no. He's busted up. Dog. Oh, Tui Lassa knocked himself down with that wild swing. Hard right hands. Look at Tui Lassa getting beat up. He trying to swing. Oh, he's taking. Look, he's sitting down. His body shut down. That's it, y'all. Pavlovich kicked, kicked his behind. Oh, my goodness. I told y'all that wouldn't go in the distance. Oh, my goodness. Look at Tuivasa's face. Pavlovich put him in the grinder, boy. Dang. Gone. God, dog, that was crazy. Tuivasa knocked himself down, man. He he took that long wild swing and he fell. Pavlovich hit him with the right hand. His body just shut down. He had to sit down. Look at his teeth, man. Look at this. 
hard left hand hurt to Ivasa. Then that jab sat him down. Oh, wow. Look at this. Pavlovich wasn't stopping. He said, nope. Because, you know, Tui Vasa looked for them crazy punches. You know, he liked to look for them home runs. But, no, Pavlovich sat him down. Look at that. See, they swing that wild shot. He had to sit down. That's it. One, two, three. Look at his face, man. Good God almighty. <laughs> he deserves a finishing bonus. That, 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 that gets a finishing bonus. Zama said Pavlovich versus Ngano. Let's go. Yeah, I mean, that was a top five fight. Brian said Ty shouldn't have been in there in the first place. Nah. He got some work to do, man. Like, he's, he think these home run punches always going to win. Can't keep swinging for the fences like that, man. That was insane, man. Oh, six might be a little behind. He said Ty gets dropped. Yeah, it's over now, baby. Definitely finish bonus. Yeah, definitely finish some bonus for that one, man. That was like what 30 second fight? 40 second fight? Oh. Wow, look at that beating, man. Look at his face, man. This dude will come out clean. He could fight again tonight. Tui Vasa look like he been in a war. Well, you ain't drinking nothing out no shoe tonight, man. Gabrielle said he thinks Forrest Grounded Pound was the best at the time when she was competing. Um, I think it was up there. I think she has some decent ground and pound. You know, very good mauling tactics. Yeah, when she was competing, I think she was pretty, you know, pretty solid with it. When you look at, if you look at like the top five at the time, top ten, I think her ground and pound was was pretty solid. Gary Ball said, "Thought oh, he's fight Derek Lewis." No, oh, you know this guy right here was ready. Yeah, Tui Vasa, no title shot. Oops. Yeah, give him that bonus. Give him the bonus. Let's see what he calls out. Oh, he didn't get a bonus last time, so he won a bonus. You said you want a bonus. Let's take a look at it right here. You hit Ty with a jab that dropped him. Look at his right hand. The right hand hurt him, and the left hook hurt him there. But that jab put him down. Yeah. That jab sat his behind down right there, and he tried to get up swinging wild. He caught it again. Mm. Jocelyn Nunez is definitely an interesting fighter. She's going to kill that girl she's up against. Yeah, Jocelyn is pretty good. Interesting, yeah. Kill said Jocelyn Nunez seems like an interesting bantamweight featherweight because she's 5'2", but she packs a punch. Yeah, you know, she's got a got a – you know, an unusual build too for the division. You know, the the shoulders, the low chin and neck. Gary says Suarez versus the Tyus Silva will be next. Now I'll be sad. Yeah, if that happens now. Nah. I don't think that needs to happen yet. Of 
course it was a high five. That's why she retired. <laughs> Yeah, he earned that one, man. That was a killer knockout right there. Okay, y'all. I am wrapping it up. Make sure y'all hit that like button. I'm done for the night. It's almost midnight. It's been fun. It's been fun with y'all in the chat, of course. Um, make sure y'all subscribe if you haven't. And hit that like button. And uh, we'll be back tomorrow. For another live show since I had some free time again. Lolita said Jocian versus Shevchenko. <laughs> he said you take it, Jocian. Dang. Suarez versus a can. <laughs> yeah, Suarez got to get back in the mix. He ain't ready for top 15 yet. All right, high five. Yeah. At least say she used potential to be safe. Wait, this is already strong. It go. Yeah, definitely fun. Let me call it a night. I might, I'm gonna still play the fights in the background, watch them. But uh, yeah, see y'all tomorrow. Combo Breaker 99. I'm out. Shout out to y'all in the chat. Peace.